I'm here with Rich Bernatovich, creator of the acclaimed indie series Sentinels and Neverminds. How are you doing today, sir? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, what first got you into making comics? Um, I've always been interested in comics. I've been reading comics since I was about 12 years old. Uh, and I grew up with a lot of creators around me, uh, a lot of different writers, artists, and it just uh, fueled me to do my own work. Eventually, as I got older, um, I had ideas that I wanted to put out there, and I didn't, I didn't kind of see any other way than to self-publish. So I decided to do that, and uh, that's kind of what started it all. What is your thought process when you write a comic? I mean, first you have to have a, a concept, a story, something that you think is interesting enough to create a comic about, because a lot of work goes into a comic. You know, it's it, the writing, drawing, lettering, inking, coloring, everything. Um, so I don't know. It, it depends. I mean, uh, I mean, your process yourself, the writing process. The writing process. Um, it's. I think it's different for every book. I mean, with Sentinels, I had a definite story idea. I had a beginning, middle, end. Uh, the, the concept revolved around family. So for me, I had this story I wanted to tell, which kind of was what family meant to me with, the, with using superheroes as a background um, and a generational theme. With Neverminds, kind of wanted to go for something a little different. Didn't really have the full concept, beginning, middle, end with that series. I just had the idea of what we wanted to do and where we wanted to go with it. So we took off from there. And I worked with Jamie Fay, who's the, the artist, and Danielle, who's our colorist. And their collaboration has fueled me to change the ideas as we go along a lot. So the it's it's I think with every product, it's different, you know. Can you please tell the folks at home uh, why? Uh, what they would have in store if they should check out Neverminds. Well, Neverminds is a really fun uh, all-female comic. Uh, it, it's, it, it, the basis is superpowers, but they're not superheroes. They're kind of work for hire. So there's a little bit of a, 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 a surreal type thing going on with one character who goes in and out of other, another world. And when she's there, she changes her appearance and everything is kind of, in the third issue, everything's kind of merging. So we're, we're, we reveal a lot with our third issue that, come, that just came out at the convention here. So I think they're going to they're gonna find beautiful, beautiful artwork, um, fun characters, and I think that a little different twist on different themes. Having written a larger team book with Sentinels, do you find it easier to write uh, Neverminds with the smaller main cast? Actually, no. <laughs> I had a lot, um, a lot more. It was a lot easier for me to write so many large character, uh, larger cast of characters. Uh, that's kind of where my background is. I have a background in theater and acting and stuff. I have a large family, so every character was kind of based on somebody I knew, or I heard their voice somehow in my head. So it was very easy to write. Having uh, one character or two characters be the main focus of a series for me was a little more difficult because there's so many things you want to tell in a story but if you only have two voices or three voices what have you you have to kind of narrow things down you can't really just create different characteristics for a character to fit what you want to do so you kind of have to you know the, the less personalities you have the less conflict you can have the less dynamics you can have but if you're doing it well, you could still get them, uh, but it's a little more difficult. You have to focus a lot more and <laughs> work a lot harder for it. Uh, with all the superheroes floating about, do you find it hard to make new and inventive characters? No, I think I think the the thing that's that you can't really come up with. That's I mean you can, but there's not a lot of new powers to to come up with, like uh, like superpowers. But you could put a twist on things, and I think it's it's all about the the technique the the. the the way you're doing the book, the art, the way it looks, um, the story that you're telling. So it's not really about the superpowers itself. I think um, nothing's really original with, you know, guy who flies, guy with firepowers, this or that. Uh, to come up with that one million and one idea of a power is, is a little difficult. So it's, it's all about, for me, it's all about the story. Well, thank you so very much for talking with us today. I hope the future issues of Neverminds go extremely well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you.